Hi everyone, my name is Michaela. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can probably guess by the title of this video, this is going to be my documentation of my training for the Pittsburgh Half Marathon, which is happening on May 5th of 2024. I ran the Pittsburgh Half Marathon back in 2018. After that, I kind of stopped running and would maybe run like once a month for however many years that was. I started getting back into running more seriously probably three, four months ago. I decided that, you know, as long as I stuck to my running schedule over those few months, I would allow myself to sign up again for the Pittsburgh Half Marathon. So I'm extremely excited. I think it's going to be fun documenting the experience as well. My official training won't start until February. We're not doing the marathon. That's that's maybe someday, you know, <laughs> not today. In person. Nope. I think this is it. I really loved running the Pittsburgh Half Marathon the last time I did it. If you know Pittsburgh, it has three rivers. So the Allegheny and the Monongahela River combine at Point State Park to form the Ohio River. And the race runs across bridges over all three of the rivers and then ends right at the point. So it's a really incredible marathon slash half marathon. I mean, I can't really speak to the marathon portion, but the half marathon was an amazing course. And for how hilly Pittsburgh is, it's not, you know, it's not terrible. Oh gosh, this is where I have to pick out my speed. I wanna to try to run it in under two hours. I was pretty close the last time. I think I can do that. I think that's a good goal to work up to. So we're gonna say nine minute mile to nine, 29 minute mile. All right, I'm officially registered for the Pittsburgh Half Marathon. Today is a pretty exciting day. It's the first, well actually it's not the first day. It's the second official day of my half marathon training program. For my training schedule, what I'm planning to do is run three times a week. I know a lot of plans have you run four times a week, but I feel like that's probably just not realistic for me. I think three is much more attainable. Mondays will be more chill, yoga at home, yoga with Adrian type days. Tuesdays will be a shorter run, typically around three to four miles, working up over the course of the 12 weeks. Wednesdays will be a Pilates day. Thursdays will be another run day. Fridays will be a rest day. Saturdays, I'm in a habit of going to a hot yoga class, and so I'm going to continue to do that most Saturdays. And then on Sundays, I will have my long run. So we're not starting out very long. I think we're starting at four or five miles this Sunday, but then we'll build up from there roughly a mile each Sunday with a few kind of different breaks or gaps for a 5K race, 10K race, those types of things. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good plan. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to stick to it. I'm also excited that I get to train in colder weather because I hate running when it's warm out. Today, it actually snowed a little bit and luckily the snow didn't stick. The ground isn't icy, so it's gonna be safe for me to run. All right, I got my hair up, my headphones in, my earmuffs on, my hat on, even though it's not sunny. There's no reason for the hat to be honest, but whatever. I made it home and it is snowing out there, but it's a run day. So gonna get ready and get out before it gets too snowy to run safely. So today on the schedule, I have a special yoga class that I booked with my mom and one of her friends. It's through the yoga studio that I normally go to, but it's at their other location and it's kind of a specific Valentine's Day focused. I think they're going to work in some aromatherapy. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited. Very much looking forward to it. I'm glad I'm not running today because it actually snowed a lot and so I'd probably be running on a treadmill or slipping and falling. <laughs> We 
we've made it to the park. Every Sunday, I'm going to try to do my long run. I'm starting with five miles today and working my way up from there. Five miles will be the longest I've run in years. So I'm feeling ready for it. We'll find out, I guess, if that's true. So it's a super foggy day out today. It's like 5 p.m. I have a little bit of daylight left. I'm gonna try to do just like a quick run. I think it's just three miles today. I should probably double check. Yes, three miles. I can do this. It's my second Sunday of the training program, which means it's my second long run. I'm supposed to run six miles today, which will be the longest I've run in a long time. But before I go for my run, I'm gonna do a few stretches, warm ups. Sorry that it's kind of bouncy. But, pretty cool lake view. All right, she's about halfway. Six miles, done. Honestly, it felt pretty good. It was about almost exactly 10 minutes per mile. Seriously feels like spring. So I just got back from Trader Joe's. I stopped up for the week. I really am trying to make sure I'm eating enough while I'm also running more. It's Sunday, so it's a long run day, but today is actually not a long run. Today is the day per my training plan that I'm using where I'm supposed to run a 5K at a race day pace. I've mostly just been running at a slow pace while I've been training so far, and so I don't really know how it's gonna go. I'm probably not gonna film while I'm running because I wanna try to like run hard. Um, I don't know, we'll see. This is going to be the soundtrack for the race, Spider-Verse 2. Oh, we're done. That was really hard. <sighs> Ignore the fact that my face is super red. It does that whenever I run and get overheated. Here's my stats. So 3.1 miles. I did it in a sub nine minute mile pace, which I was pretty proud about. I think I started off too fast, like sub eight minute, and then I just gradually was running slower and slower. I had to take a little walk break at mile three, and then I accidentally stopped running like right at the three mile mark instead of the 3.1 mile mark, but it's okay. I'm proud of how I did. Um, I'm tired. I just got home from work. It's already like 5.40 and so I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm ready for dinner. I really don't wanna go on a run, but I need to uh, because my rest of my week is really busy. So there's really not time for me to make it up at any other point. It's only three miles. These are the days where it's hard. It's hard to run when you've been at work and you get home and it's 5.40. Luckily, the sun's not setting until 6.30, so if I get ready right now, I have time to get my run in before it gets dark. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. One more mile. Done. It's a Friday, but it's a run day. Normally I try to go for one of my shorter runs of the week on Thursdays. I was actually at the movie theater to see Dune part two, which was amazing. I would definitely recommend checking it out if you like sci-fi. I read the book around this time last year and so it was cool to see it on the big screen. But I did not get my run in yesterday, so I'm gonna go today. I'm gonna go for three and a half miles. And the soundtrack for today is going to be Ariana Grande's newest album. It's her seventh album and it actually dropped last night at midnight. So I've listened to it a little bit today, but I've been working. So I'm gonna listen to it some more while I run. Should be good. All done, wrapped up 3.5 miles. The soundtrack was great. See you good day. <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, this is gonna make today's seven mile run a little trickier. dressed it has kind of stopped snowing i'm hoping that since the snow is fresh it's just going to be kind of snowy and not icy i guess i'll find out i definitely thought the weather was getting better it is not getting better if anything it's getting worse again All right, here we go. I'm about at mile three, which is exciting. Austin actually called me while I was partway through mile two. It's spring forward day, but he got up at 4.45 in the morning, drove down to Athens, Ohio, kind of near Hawking Hills, and he found some red crossbills down there, which is a yearbird, Ohio yearbird. Uh, I think it might be a high lifer, he said. If you remember from my Saxon Bog video, we were looking for red crossbills at our lodge because people had seen them there, but we didn't actually see them there this year. So that was nice to break up the run when I get back to it now. Five miles down, two to go. Oh, I finished seven miles. Wow, super proud. It might be really windy, so I'm sorry about that if it is. The paths were not very icy. The end was a little tough because there was like snow pelting my face, but otherwise, that was a magical seven mile run. It's so pretty. I definitely started off slower, trying to pace myself, and then I sped up in the second half and I think I achieved under 10 minute mile which is the goal for a lot of these long runs. <sighs> Yay! Oh. 
Hello, it's Tuesday. What's crazy is the last time I checked in for a run, it was two days ago, it was Sunday, and it was snowing like crazy, and it was 30 degrees. Today, it's high 60s. My car actually said 70 at one point, which is insane. So I'm running in shorts today. I also got a package in the mail from REI. I had membership dollars, um, which is something you get if you're an REI member and you buy things the year prior, you get dollars towards things for the new year. I'm gonna open it because I got two things and one of those things is something I could potentially use on my run today. Yay! It's a running belt. So it's something that I can hopefully use to hold my phone, all that kind of stuff while I run. I'm gonna try it out. Hopefully I like it. I've typically run with an armband, but it's really tough to like take your phone out and put it back in and like check what you're running, film with it. I have a little diagram here of how you can fit everything into it. Water bottle. We're gonna try it out. I can put you up higher somewhere. Where it's supposed to sit? Here maybe? I don't know if it's gonna like bounce too much. We'll try it out today. I'm only running four miles, so if I hate it, it's fine. Going for it. Two miles down, two to go. It's beautiful out. The hill boat's working all right, undecided. like summer out. I'm on the last mile, but I just had to run up a huge hill into this crazy wind. I'm dying. All right, I'm gonna try to run the last bit. We just finished the four miles. That last section was rough. My pace was still like 947 minutes per mile. I'm back from my run. It went really well. I had almost the exact same. Clearly people are out there enjoying the weather right now, but I had the exact same pace actually that I had for my seven mile run, which was interesting, like down to the second, I don't know. Anyway, in terms of this running pouch, initially I had, so I have two phones um, that I run with, but I had both phones in the front and it was like really shaking and very uncomfortable. So I moved it so that the phones are on opposite sides of it to kind of balance it out. And that definitely helped. I'm still not totally sold. It's definitely better than running with the phone in the hand. I don't know if it's better than the armband, but it is nice that I can have both of the phones. My favorite is still having leggings that have pockets. I think that's definitely the best way to do it. The pockets on the sides of the legs but I'm trying to find an alternative for summer when I don't wanna be wearing my fleece running leggings. With that, I think we're actually gonna cap off this first race training video. I think I'm gonna make a part two for the second half of my half marathon training program. Hopefully I'm going to be able to start it off with a really exciting run. My next long run this Sunday will potentially be in a pretty cool location. I don't wanna say where in case it falls through and doesn't work out, but if it does, it's gonna be kind of special. So. Stick around, subscribe if you haven't. There are probably gonna be a few other videos that come out in between now and whenever the next half marathon training video come out, but yeah, it should be good.